Hi Gemini and welcome to your Case of the X Tarot reading for November 2017. This is for all those Geminis out there who are missing their ex or wondering about their ex. Also this is a general tarot reading so I'm not looking at any one person's personal storyline. It's just an overall view for all of Geminis who are missing an ex and therefore it will resonate with some but it won't resonate with all unfortunately. Also I want you to think of a number between 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to draw three cards at the end to um, make this a bit more personal for you for um, advice, outcome, or answer to your specific question. And I'm only looking at the energy for November, not prior and not after. So Gemini Let's see what the energy is, the overall energy is between you and the X in the month of November 2017. Building blocks. Okay, nice. This is actually, um, this card here can mean a couple different things. Either the friendship and re partnership and relationship that you and the ex shared in the past is the foundation that is going to either allow you guys to remain as really good friends or this is the building blocks that leads you guys back to each other at some point in time or the foundation and all the things that you experienced and established with your ex are the building blocks for you into transitioning into your next relationship okay it's like everything you experienced with the ex you needed to to grow you to stretch you to evolve you into a different version of yourself that is now less compatible with the ex but more compatible for your next partnership okay so no matter where you fall in that this is a very positive card it's very positive energy it means all is not lost all does not go to waste it wasn't all in vain you were actually building something whether it's a foundation inside of yourself or a foundation for a future relationship with the ex okay so positive that's super positive for all of you okay gemini i'm going to take a look at your energy specifically and how you're feeling in november about your ex Okay, so we're coming out as the Nine of Cups reversed and the Two of Coins reversed. Okay, so right off the bat, <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> like these are the next cards. I'm not going to put them up there, but they definitely give some <clears throat> substance to that right there. Okay. So I feel like the Geminis I'm reading for, for most of you, um, I feel like your ex broke up with you, okay? Because you're showing as the Nine of Cups reversed, which is not getting your wish, not getting your way, things going like not how you wanted. <clears throat> and then with this Two of Pentacles here, this is like you not having a choice whatsoever. It is what it is. Um, for some of you, this could have been like you finding out that um, your ex was cheating on you and that's why the relationship ended, okay? It's just like there's an element here that you're feeling inside that it's just, it's beyond your control. Things went down in a way that you didn't want or at least that's how you're feeling about your ex in November. Like it's just out of your control, out of your hands, and it's not how you want it to be. It's not your wish. So, let's see how the ex is feeling about you. Oh, 
All right, so this just flew out. So the Ace of Coins upright. Um, so right away, I feel like for many of you, your ex feels as though you desire a new beginning with them, another go round, a second chance. And then the Eight of uh, Wands, wow, yes. So for some, your ex is, is feeling like you're putting it out there, like you're co actually communicating this in November, like I, I wanna be with you, um, you're the one for me. Now, it, all of you that are feeling like this was out of your control or it's not your desire to be without your ex, um, some of that could be, you know, just because this is general, it was based on your own actions or behavior that caused the relationship to end and, you know, you're really sorry for that and you, you're you trying to offer this second chance, this um, other opportunity, okay? For others of you, um, you could really be feeling like um, you you might love your ex very much but you're you don't want to be back with them like you really don't because of whatever happened and you know they're coming through and coming on really strong like they're trying to get back with you okay um for others of you this is like your ex has moved on into like a new relationship or it's like your ex is dating all over the place and it's just it's bothering you and that's not what you like you don't understand that behavior okay um for others of you because this is general your ex could be viewing you in that light maybe you have gotten into a new relationship or you're dating around but yet you're still telling your ex that you would like to be with them or even if you aren't telling them that they may be telling that to you so kind of a lot happening there gemini um apply that to how it fits for you okay because for some i mean just it to me it looks like this ex still talks to you or is open to talking to you even if like they don't want to get back to you back with you or something it's like they're still open to talk to you and hang out with you and all of that and that might be what your um, nine of cups reversed and two of coins reversed is about it's like you um you want to solidify it you don't want to just you know back and forth and not be solid um, for some though definitely with that ace of uh, pentacles upright and that eight of wands your ex might just want to like come back to hook up sexually okay I have to put that out there just because of that pairing of cards so be careful of that if you're just being like if they're just hooking up and then taking off or maybe that's what you're trying to do and they're kind of catching on to that in November if that's the, you know, cards you've been playing. So I'm going to pull um, some cards to look at how the energy plays out between you guys in the month of November. But I feel like for all of you, you're like communicating with your ex in November. Wow, Ten of Swords. So somebody here and um, based on the lineup of cards of how you're feeling and how they're feeling I'm going to say for the majority of you watching this you are feeling very stabbed in the back by your ex okay this is general so it could go the other way your ex could be feeling that way about you but for the most of the Gemini's I am reading for you feel um, very stabbed in the back by your ex. You could feel abandoned. You could feel lied to. You could feel totally deceived, just outright rejected, left out in the cold. You know, um, especially if, the, if there's that, you know, coming in just to have sexual relations and then, you know, taking off again. Like, there's just a really heavy element of negative energy contained with this within this card okay indigo interesting okay so for many of you you're going to be relying on your intuition um or like your religion your spirituality whatever it is that that you practice inside of yourself 
um, you're really going to be falling on that in November, like as far as making a decision on, you know, do I keep entertaining any sort of relationship with the ex or do I just completely let it go? Like, you're just going to come into a brand new beginning inside of yourself as far as perspective goes because of what's happened and where you've been. The shadow, yep. So, Gemini, for you guys, when it comes to the X, November seems like it's more about um, sorting through and filtering through the negative experiences and seeing the positive in the overall experience if that makes sense okay realizing that even though this and this happened and you might be feeling really defeated and like let down it was not all in vain okay there you built something with inside of yourself that's going to carry you forward that's creating a, a different version of who you are to lead you to somebody that you have a much more solid foundation and connection with okay um this is general so others of you this could be where you guys are talking about things and you know the energy shifting and you guys come back together but i really feel like that's uh the minority here um as i stated i feel like many of you are still talking to your ex and some of you might even still see them and it's just kind of like <clears throat> this back and forth back and forth and I can say, um, my ex, actually, we dated, we knew each other as friends for four years, and then we dated for seven years, and then it took us three and a half years to break up, okay? And um, in that three and a half years, we still spent holidays together, we still went on vacations, we hung out all the time, but the thing was, is we weren't officially together, and he was going out with other people and I went out with some other people um, a few times but it was more on his behalf and so that was just his way of having me and doing what he wanted to and um, unfortunately I was just too in love and too stupid too young and dumb to see it for all that it was and it was devastating to let go of but uh, now today I'm totally good and um, I can see why he and I were not meant to be and I see what developed inside of myself and what I evolved into because of that um, I would have never started this tarot channel I would have never started the other YouTube channel that I have okay um, I would have never left my day job there's just things major relationships ending in our life are often the catalyst for so many other things that we that are not that don't seem related and so for you guys i really feel like that's what this card is saying the ending of this relationship is the catalyst for so many other positive things in your life this is like magic this is the magician this is i can manifest okay so don't don't um feel like all is lost and that it was all for nothing because it wasn't and you just might not be far enough away from the breakup yet to see all the other doors that are going to open because that relationship ended and the catalyst of where it's pushing you in other areas of your life okay so with that said go ahead and think of the card that is for you card one two or three and i'm going to pull those now to make this a more personal answer, outcome, or advice for you guys. All right, so if you were drawn to card number one, you got free yourself. And this is clear. Um, if your ex is in and out, back and forth, it's time to end that behavior. It's what has what was meant to be achieved has already been achieved okay those building blocks were already created inside of you and it's time to let go of the relationship entirely this is saying free yourself okay um if you've just been hanging around hoping for a reconciliation with the ex this is the universe saying at least in the month of november you know free yourself from that thought go out explore live your life 
you know um, most importantly this is any negative thoughts that you are, are thinking over and over if, or if you're replaying the painful ending of your relationship over and over and all the things that happen free yourself from that free your mind from that free yourself from that shadow side okay come into the indigo energy the new the wise free yourself okay and if you if you were drawn to card one you know what this means for you and this is your confirmation and this here for yourself is like the key to your true happiness it really is all right, card number two. If you were card, drawn to card number two, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. What this is saying is that you need to, much like with free yourself, you need to really open your mind and keep it open. And even though you think your ex might be the perfect one, the soulmate, the twin flame, this is the universe saying, hey, I get that, but you don't, you don't know what I got for you. You need to keep your, your mind open, your heart open, and know that I was preparing you for something much um, more suited to you, something that you're gonna love just as much. But more to the point with this indigo coming through, you will have a soul connection with your next partner, okay? Um, just as deep, if not deeper, than you experience with the ex and, and why it's so hard to let all that go. The universe is saying, keep an open mind. You know, um, somebody may come along out of nowhere that you don't expect, and it's just like Cupid's going to smack you upside your head, and you're going to be like, whoa. So keep an open mind, okay? Wow, card three. So if you were drawn to this card, this, again, is pretty much the same thing here. You need to trust um, the universe on this and that all is not lost and that the way everything is unfolding and the way everything transpired was for your greater good ultimately and honestly if you talk to any person who is successful they will tell you all of the pain all of the challenge all of the setback they had to face to become what they are today and it adds character, it grows you, it, it turns you into a different version, the version of you that could handle the success, okay? So trust the universe in the month of November and trust that maybe your ex might not be the best one for you, okay? Um, I'm sorry if this video um, isn't the message that you were looking for, but I truly read these cards 100% honestly and earnest from my soul in an effort and an attempt to, you know, help people out because I know how hard and challenging and painful it can be to get over an ex, especially when it's the only person you ever loved in your whole life and you spent over um, a decade with them and you thought they were your soulmate like I understand I I was there and um, that's why I make these videos because there is another side to that and one day you will see the light of why you and your ex weren't meant to be and you'll be grateful for it it's 100% true so that's what I have for you, Gemini. Um, I wish you all a very beautiful and blessed month. Take care.